with a sole Liberal splitting from her party's line. Eyes 89, nose 55. Labor's climate legislation sailed through the lower house. The bills as amended have been agreed to. The election vanquished, now yesterday's man. This is a fulfilment of a core promise that we made at the election. Teal independents claiming victory too. OK, the government doesn't need our votes, but the government needs our brains. Though the legislated emission reduction targets well below what they wanted. I think there's a huge wave of relief across Australia. The climate wars are nearly over. <laughs> well, not quite. The fight to stop Labor's coal and gas projects continues. The coalition again challenging Labor's claim that a faster switch to renewables will lower power prices by $275. Will the Prime Minister apologise to Australians he's misled? If business has certainty, the for they can affairs. invest. And it's investment in cheaper, cleaner energy that will drive down power prices. Having chalked up a major legislative success in his first parliamentary fortnight as Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese is now intent on portraying the coalition as isolated on climate policy. And while the PM was today insistent the new law won't hasten the end of coal and gas projects, it turns out other legislation can. The Environment Minister rejecting Clive Palmer's Central Queensland coal project, not for reasons of climate change, but on the basis it will likely damage the nearby Great Barrier Reef. Andrew Proen, ABC News, Canberra.